on. Once I just again. how I just slipped into a coma. That's okay. I just slipped into a coma, Robin. Uh, you know, after you do the third or fourth live commercial, it happens. <laughs> You know, I bet you're going to... You know what you'll be doing when you're Johnny Weissmuller's age, when he was running around the nursing home doing the Tarzan yell? Yeah. You're going to be doing commercials. You think so? I'll be... MHN! <laughs> MHN Hair Studio! It works! Take my word for it. No, don't take my word for it! Dial one 800 <laughs> 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 oh. The thing you think you'll hate, that you'll miss the most. Robin? <laughs> I heard Robin. <laughs> Robin? <laughs> <laughs> Bury me with my microphone. Like Bella Lugosi with his cave. <gasps> wait, wait. I heard Jackie. Oh. <laughs> I hear Jackie. <laughs> it's the old team. They've come back for me. We're going to do it again. Who's going to go first, do you think? Out of the group? Yeah. I, You know, logic would tell us Jackie, because he's the oldest, <laughs> and also he takes he takes horrible care of himself. <laughs> but he's the happiest in some respects, because you know, he smokes his pot, and he has his beer, yeah. and he's really that excited. keep him alive. Yeah, and he's really excited about clams. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the, like, the beach! The beach is my lifeblood! <laughs> And plus, genetically, he comes from good stock. I mean, his mother hangs on. How many years has she been around? She's 98. She's 100 years yeah, old. She, she's yeah. an even 100. I think he's lying about her age. <laughs> I think he shaved two years off her. <laughs> Why well, lie about her age? Right. Point. Well, if Jackie's 60. His mother's got to be at least 90. hi yo hi yo I don't know. Who do you think is going to die first? Probably me, because I'm just... Stressed out. Stressed out. and I'm always have, feeling like I'm having a heart attack. I think it's going to be Baba Booey. I do you really? I'm going to have to find a new Baba Booey. Why do you think Baba Booey? Oh, my. I don't know. I just have this feeling. Eat himself to death. Yeah. He's <laughs> <Really? laughs> chocolates. <laughs> he would be the least missed, so it would make sense for him to go. <laughs> oh. I don't even know if I'd go to the funeral. Oh, stop it. No, I would go. <laughs> We'd have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Fred? Although Fred looks genetically inferior. He might uh, go first. He might keel over on us. No, he's always having problems. No, I think you got that. I think Fred's going to last forever. No, when we were in Washington, Fred used to get heart palpitations. Right, Rob, Robin writes about it in her book. Well, that was from chopping down trees. All right. <laughs> that, Remember that, Fred, when you... when well, you. That, that was an extenuating circumstance. All right, take it easy. There you go. <laughs> Revealing a little of Fred's personal life. Heart palpitations? Yeah, what happened was Fred had... You, I don't know if you remember this. I don't think Jackie was around. All right, so Fred... Jackie was around, but not every day. All right, well, Fred, this is a great story. <laughs> you know how before Fred had his wife, he used to latch on to one of us for the whole weekend. You know, first it was me. When Fred came to New York, he latched... He doesn't just, like, take on a new friendship. Well, when in he, Washington, it started. Yeah. Right. He takes on a friendship with intense verve. Like, he'll just suck the life out of you. It's a love there affair to remember. Right. <laughs> Gary knows, because after, after I dumped Fred, Gary had to pick up. But you know what? Fred dumped Because Fred me. really doesn't... Yeah, did he really? Well, Fred that's because he got the girlfriend. Like, Fred dumped me. Like a mosquito lands on you and sucks out all yeah. the blood. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, but Fred... Well, Fred, let me play your theme song. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Waste it. Yeah, right. As long as I'm talking about you, i got to play the theme song. He's a man from Mars on Earth to take a look at he can read your mind just like an open book. Yes. He's a man from Mars and he's extremely clever. Brilliant but kind in every endeavor. <laughs> Suddenly I don't feel so goofy like in clamps. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Fred, so Fred, after after I gave Fred the dump, because I had kids at this point, I couldn't hang around with Fred anymore. It was too draining. Well, what you forget right. is that... In Washington, we had no one to put him off on. Yeah. So we were stuck with him. Yeah. <laughs> and once we got to New York, at least Connecticut wasn't that far away. Yeah, well, here's the thing. that you know, And Fred really had no life. He would just sit in his apartment waiting for something to happen. So you'd feel bad, and you'd call Fred, and then Fred would come over. Like, like in a blizzard, Fred stayed at my house and then wouldn't leave. 
Like after the like like here's what happened. We had a bad snowstorm. It came in a flash. Yeah, so I said Nobody Fred knew it was gonna happen. Fred was parked at my house, so I said in Fred Yeah, this was in New York. It doesn't matter, this is just an example of Fred. So you you know, I said to Fred, Stay at my house for the night because it's crazy how are you gonna get your car out and it's too dangerous to drive. Well, you don't it was worse. Fred, it was snow there were twelve inches of snow dumped on the city in an hour. Right. And Fred, I kept saying to Fred, are you going to try to go to Connecticut tonight? Because it was on a Friday. Well, I haven't gotten to Connecticut yet. But wait a minute. Yeah. This is why this story is important. Right. And he kept saying, I'm going to try. Right. I'm going to try. Yeah, well, Fred had nowhere to go on weekends, so he used to go back to Connecticut to his mom and dad's house. Yeah, and I finally had to say to you, look, you're going to have to talk to him because he would really try to go to Connecticut. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> so Fred had this thing every weekend. He had to go to Connecticut to see his parents. Because Fred had no other people. Now that he has his wife, he hasn't seen his parents in years. <laughs> When's the last time you've seen your parents? Be honest. Six years, six years ago. No, no come on, come be on. honest. It was Christmas. Was it Christmas? Yeah. All right. Well, that's typical. Yeah. You won't see him again but until you, next Yeah, Christmas. right, and you won't see him again until next Christmas. Be honest. Anything's possible. Right. <laughs> but you admit you see them less. Right. Oh, less, please. Oh, he sees them once a year now, and he hardly calls them. But the point is, when he, when, but when he was flying solo and just had us and no girlfriend or anything, he was at the parents no matter what. If there was 12 inches of snow being dumped hourly on the city, Fred had to get to Connecticut to see those parents. He could not bear to spend the weekend alone. So Robin said to me, you better speak to Fred. So I said, Fred, you know, I was trying to make it like a little kid, trying to make it fun. Fred, it'll be fun. Just stay over. We'll, we'll buy dinner. It'll be fun. So he's like, okay, but I'll, I have to get to Connecticut the next day. I mean, it was insanity. Yeah. So, Can I ask a question? Yeah. When you guys lived in Washington, did Fred used to visit Connecticut a lot? Yeah, or? all the time. <laughs> Buy into that, Jerry. <laughs> it has to be true. That's why. All I know is Fred disappeared once for like a couple of days. I want to tell anybody where he went. Remember that, Robin? From Washington? From Washington? Yep. That wasn't you don't even know about this, no. maybe. Fred... I, I all I know is I kept calling him and I kept going Wait, over to his I place and that. nobody knows where he went and he then, didn't even show up for work. Right. And then when I got when I got when I got a hold what? of him, I said, Fred, where were you? He says, uh, personal business. And That's he, right, it was Fred, he had that wacky house he was living yeah, in. Yeah, it was Fred's lost weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't know what had happened to him. Where did you go? Fred now can you tell me? No, How long was he gone? Come on, Fred, no, where did you go? No. <laughs> he was gone for three days. Yeah. And then returned, like, like nothing Friday, happened. Friday, Saturday, Sunday or Sunday? Uh, it was like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday. Yeah, because we definitely... That wasn't the infamous it. Florida trip, was it? No, no. 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 That's a whole other story that I can't get into right now. <laughs> That's, something else no. entirely different. That's a legend. Yeah, that happened in New oh, York. So Fred... So anyway, I convinced Fred to stay at my place. <laughs> Fred stays, and we take him shopping. We, we run to the supermarket. Everyone's there, and we were going to make uh, fish that night. We were going to fry some fish or something, and... Fred wouldn't tell us that he doesn't eat fish. Yeah, he just sat there. Yeah. So finally my wife realized that Fred does not eat fish. Because we got him home that night, fed him fish, and he wouldn't eat. So then we went out and we said, Fred, what do you eat? And he couldn't tell us what he ate. He, I think he was embarrassed, so he finally admitted that he eats hot dogs. Right. So we went out and got him hot dogs. <laughs> and I remember calling you, like, on Sunday. Wow. Yeah. And I was, uh, you know, talking to you, and you all of a sudden said, Still here. <laughs> Fred won't leave. And all the snow had melted. There was like this huge heat wave. The snow had melted. Everyone had dug themselves out and Fred still wouldn't leave. <laughs> and he just wouldn't go. Great. He just he just wasn't I was like, Hey Fred, maybe you wanna maybe you wanna go home. Oh no, I don't think it's safe now. <laughs> yeah, it was like weird. He, 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 so you know how Fred latches on. Well yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but I mean I like hanging out with him, but I know like one one Be one, honest. one really cool thing that he did once yeah. was um we went to California on a trip. And, you know, Fred had that, you know, had that car that he loved, right. you know, that he took really, really good care yeah, of. Yeah, Fred thinks whatever car he gets is the best car but, in the whole but world. But he takes, Fred takes incredible care of cars. Yeah, and also he only gets what his father gets. You know that, too? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. No. His father has the same car all the time. Well, he had the T-Bird, and it was like the special edition. I remember right. that. And his father told him that Ford made the best cars and that the T-Bird... they were on top of things. They had made the best innovations. Right. Now I remember that. Coming back. Well, my dad yeah. helped me do it. Yeah, and then his dad got a... Um, he, his dad's got one of those Jeeps now. That's yeah. what Fred has. Well, I bought the Jeep before he did. Okay. That's okay. Mm. I'm letting a lot of lies. So it's, it's, okay, fine. All right. So anyway, oh, Fred, you did tell us that about the T-Bird. It was your dad. Yeah, everything oh. was your dad. And then Fred would even look at a piece of furniture and go, "My dad can build this better." Remember when he was turning over my furniture because he was going to tell his father how to make it? Yeah, I don't know why he couldn't go out and just buy it. I don't know. So, so anyway, Fred came into Robin's apartment, and started analyzing the furniture, and going, "I think my fr my father can make this. I want to. I'm going to. I want to just draw a little blueprint of this yeah. furniture. Silly me. Yeah. Yeah, silly you." 
You're silly. I You're am. the man from Mars. And he I had. Am. Do you still have that stereo, Fred, that you built yourself? It's probably somewhere, but I don't know where. <laughs> All right, anyway. So so we went to uh, California for a week. When it, yeah. We were at NBC. We went on that one-week trip. Right. And Fred didn't want to leave his car in the driveway in Queens. Right. So he asked if it was okay. to. I said, hey, leave it at my parents' house because they have, you know, room in the driveway. Uh-huh. So I got back a day later. Yeah. Fred got back on, like, a Saturday afternoon. Right. And he took a cab to my parents' house. And when I got back the next day, I said, oh, Fred, pick up the car. And my parents go, yeah, he was here till 4.30 in the morning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and what did he do? They drank and ate. Oh, and, man. And he hung up my parents. They drank a bottle. I mean, my father drank a bottle of scotch because Fred never had anything to do. But do your parents usually stay up until 4.30 in the morning? No, no, but they, they didn't. I got to tell you, they didn't mind it. They enjoyed yeah, it. But they, they, they don't didn't. mind it, but you don't realize what's happening. Fred just won't leave. I'm telling you, Fred doesn't That's leave. Right. I thought it was funny that my parents were up until 4.30 with Fred. Yeah, in the old days when I used to have people over my house, Fred would just stay. Yeah. And then finally I have to say, Fred, I think we're all going to bed now. Okay. So why was I talking about Fred? Because of that uh, chest gonna, pain thing. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, the the infamous story was that <laughs> Fred So Fred ran up to his parents' house on the weekend, as usual. And he always used the excuse that his parents needed help around with chores. Well, his big thing was, I know, um, was he had a, a lot of times he had to cut the lawn. Yeah. Right. Right. He had to, said to be the most manicured lawn but ever. I, think it was, uh, I always got the impression... That Fred was on one of those like John Deere things that you drive, like yeah. that you sit in. Right, like you, he was plowing like back a big, big lawn. Yeah, I don't know what huge. Fred was doing, but all I know is huge. Fred goes up there and decides he's going to chop wood. And you know, Fred's a mental patient. If you give Fred wood to chop, he'll just keep chopping. Well, and if you don't tell him to stop, like this John is Henry, a tree. right? <laughs> he cut down a tree like Paul Bunyan. Yeah, so he went up there. He was out of shape. He makes he, a forest into sort of. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes home and he's got the worst pains in his chest. From totally overdoing it. From yeah. totally, you know, overdoing it. And now Fred thinks he's having a heart attack. <laughs> so, of course, Fred, who's having a heart attack, can't call anyone because Fred's up You know, Fred doesn't know how to call anyone. Fred didn't even know how to open a bank account at this time. <laughs> Fred didn't have his own bank account. That's used, true. I just said, Fred, we'll take you to get a bank account. You can listen to this. You can put your money in the bank and write a check. You don't have to keep all this cash on you. Right, because he was, like, hiding his money right. under the mattress. Yeah, but he was like, I don't know if I, if, if I put it in the bank, what happens if they take it? His I mean, father had never told him about banks. No. <laughs> and his father, I guess, doesn't trust banks. Or well, something was going on. When I, when I met Freddie, he was like a babe out of the woods. Well, I told you about the time he called me. He needed some money for something. Yeah. And I said, well, come over and pick me up, and I'll go to the bank. He said, but the banks are closed today. I said, don't worry, Fred, I have a card. He had no idea you could get into the bank. Amazing. <laughs> it's but like, then, you know, he didn't know anything about ATM. He's like Jethro Bodine. <laughs> <laughs> He's like out of the hills. What do you mean you're going to use this pool table for a game? I thought we're supposed to eat on it. <laughs> so anyway, Fred was having a heart attack, and for some reason, I guess he called you. He didn't call. He just came over. Oh, he came over. Yeah. And Robin wouldn't open her door. <laughs> That's in Robin's book. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. But yeah, I, won't, I won't reveal the end of that story. <laughs> Big question, Robin. Did you know it was Fred? you got to read the book. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Always a saleswoman. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, <laughs> Did she pretend she wasn't home? I can say uh, yes. No, oh, no, no, no. All right, well, uh, just, all right. Read the book. I should take up until oh, it's a cheese for the book. <laughs> up until this point, I thought Fred was crazy and Robin was saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was even. Yeah, well, yeah, it's definitely even. So <laughs> we must have been a delightful group. Oh man! I just remember Fred's big heart attack, and it's like, yeah. hey, you ninny, you, you chopped wood for twelve hours straight. What do you expect? But I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I didn't know that at the time. Well, Fred I, I, well, well, in the emergency I said to, yeah, he was in the emergency room, and I said. Fred, do you understand that you did? Did you do anything unusual? He's like, no. I said, where did you go this weekend? Went well, to my parents. Well, did you do anything unusual? No. Oh, really? Well, well did you well, did you eat something strange? <laughs> no. Did you have any activity? No. Well, in fact, I didn't have time for any activity. I was chopping wood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, what? <laughs> I had to do a lot of chores. <laughs> and over exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is this weird? Yeah. But Fred, remember the time Fred had to go to uh, did traffic Fred go to, court? But did Fred go to the emergency room himself? Yeah. yeah. Fred, you really did? Yeah. That must have taken a lot because you were in those he days afraid. He was really scared. That he was, was afraid to go anywhere. Yeah. Doctors. His heart was like an overdrive. Like it was. Oh, it was like my arm was numb the whole nine yards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I almost lost Fred. And I kept saying to myself, "Look, I overdid it." But the more you kept, you know, doing the, you know, telling yourself that you're okay, wait, that you're wait. okay. 
the worse you felt. So it's like... So how did you know how to go to an emergency room? That must have freaked you out. I figured I was going to go talk to Rob, and I figured if I talked to somebody, she would just say, look, you're nuts right now. You just, you know, you just overdid it. You're not having a heart attack. Go home. But wait a minute. It would have been fine. Did you drive all the way? Robin really came through for you. Did he drive all the way from Connecticut to New York? Was no, he was, was living was here. here. Yeah, no, he drove from Connecticut right, to right, New York. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Of course. You chopped I mean, the wood, drove home. Yeah, right. Yeah, but the was, pain didn't set in. No, no, it didn't. It wasn't that day. Oh, oh, it was oh, delayed. Right. It was over. Right. Over. It was muscle exertion. Right. Yeah. Well, so they reacted the next day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know what? I I have something that I've Ooh. always wanted to ask Fred. Uh oh. You know, since I met him, but since we're doing this whole thing. Good luck. No, the the, the, the thing that I always found not not strange, but the hardest thing about uh, that Fred had to deal with when I met him, which was like 1984, we spent the year at NBC. Then we got to K-Rock, and I don't know how long we were at K-Rock till he met Princess Norris. Hmm. But as far as I know, in an that entire time, which is probably like two and a half years, I don't believe Fred ever had sex. I mean, I remember Fred, Fred and I used to rap about it all the time, and it just, he just what said did that, he he, say? that he just didn't have the opportunity to meet women. Oh, okay. Right. Fred, is that true? You didn't have sex for two years? It seemed like a long time. Yeah, it was about two years. Yeah, really? Because I thought Fred was a homo. And I my mother wanted to set him up one of my cousins. I felt so bad for him. Well, I was sure Fred was a homo. You know, because everyone always says to me, geez, Robin, a lesbian. I never thought you were a lesbian. Honestly, I swear. I always thought Fred was a homo. Because, yeah. And I used to test him. One night, I, re I was in a hotel room, and I said, Fred, let's share a room. And Fred... Let's share a room? Wasn't it a bed? No, it was a room, Robin. Let's take it easy over there. Come on. I am not attracted to Fred. <laughs> not much. <laughs> Who can resist him? I shared a room with Fred once. I never thought. First of all, in those days, Fred used to smell like coffee because he drank way too much coffee. Yeah, yeah, but the coffee yeah. he used to have a really stinky breath. Yeah. You don't drink coffee anymore, do you? I do, but uh, yeah, it's not a as much. Oh. He used to be obsessive about it. That coffee right. cup was never. Well, you know why? His yeah, yeah. dad drinks a lot of coffee. Mm. He definitely. Yeah. He does everything his dad. He did everything his dad did. Yeah. True. My dad loves coffee. If his dad wore a coat, he wore that. Yeah, right. Damn right. <laughs> Damn right. Well, when you, you know what's really cool when you went to Fred's See, Fred's book is the opposite of yours. <laughs> Fred did everything his father did. Oh. So anyway, um, I was convinced Fred was a homo because I knew some good-looking girls who wanted him, and Fred yeah. wasn't even reacting. Remember that one girl who hung around with Fred and hung, and listened to him play that silly guitar uh, And she all thought he was singing night. to her? Now, she was nice. Come on. She was a piece of ass. She was a piece of ass washing it. A piece of is this is the black woman? Yeah. And Oofa. she hung around, I mean, hours. She was like, Robin, well, we just talked and talked. I, and she didn't know Fred would just talk and talk. <laughs> I would have taken this girl and given her a workout like you wouldn't. This girl was throwing herself. She was like pressing her lips up against Fred, she doing was, anything. She has a body of a Barbie doll. And you never asked him about it? It's just... Uh, listen. Oh, we you, asked him all the time. You try to talk to Fred about stuff. No, but I don't mean you and Robin. I mean, you ever say, hey, you're hitting on her? Yeah, we would say... Uh, well, I mean, you know. you and and would Fred, Fred had a rule, remember? He says, I don't date people I work with. That's oh, right. You don't crap where you eat. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But meanwhile, I wasn't dating anybody, and the guy hadn't had sex. So I said, okay, the guy's a homo. So one night, we're in a hotel room, and uh, we're in the room, and I'm getting ready for bed, and I, uh, you know, I have my pants off, and so I'm walking around my underwear, brushing my teeth. Bait baiting the trap. Yeah, baiting him, you know, because, you know, my body will really turn a guy on. And uh, like Fred, Fred got into a corner. And, like, literally, just like he was. I remember he got changed really super fast. Like the way you get changed in gym class in fifth grade. Yeah, what he did was he got into the corner, he pulled his pants and his shirt off real fast. He was wearing boxer shorts and he quickly jumped into the bed. You know what I mean? Like, so I wouldn't well, see him. how excited you were getting. So I said, man. I said, what's his story? I Why said, did you do that, Fred? Did you think he might be interested in you? You want to know something? I always picked up a vibe from him that he was slightly homo. Oh. oh such a liar. I swear to I'm God. I'm a married man. Oh, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's you're insane. insane. I'll tell you the oh, truth. When I started on this yeah. show and I you guys swear. used to do your... Your a homo thing. Yeah. I always thought you two were way too good at it. And it was a time at Club Benet when I was watching yep. you two really getting into it. And I, I said to myself... Is this the like the emperor's? Is this like right in my face? And, and these two are screaming it? homos, and I oh, can't. Are you Howard, I know the time. I can, I can tell you mm. the exact time. You all right, so, so believable. Uh, I right. These two are really in love. I can tell you the exact time. Right, I made out with them once. All right, I can tell you the time that you're talking about. Yeah. We were all talking about it. 
Robin had this purple silk right. shirt, yes. and Fred put it on, <laughs> and, and it was just, I don't know, it just it was like, it he was right. transformed. Yeah. It's just, my color. It was, okay. I don't know. It was like Frosty's hat or something. <laughs> yeah, Fred's way too comfortable wearing that stuff. But, hey, but you, feminine side. you oh. settled into, there was the two, it, there was like, <laughs> you guys were caressing each other. There was magic between The guy has a good body, I'll give him that. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You, you know, he's a woodsman. You were way too into it. He chops wood. The See, time I that it really, I question it, was when you... And Fred and Al Rosenberg were going to do that morning show. Yeah. For the first time. And Fred played and my Fred wife. dressed up as your wife. And looked way too and good. And looked too good in a dress. People were calling in and saying, you know, your wife is really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it was really strange. It's like, Fred makes a great woman. He had long black hair. And I'm a hell of a dame. He had a nice body. <laughs> Big chest. <laughs> so anyway, uh... So I tested for that night. He didn't seem to be homo, but... Yeah. You guys were in the same bed? No. 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 What are you insane? <laughs> you <laughs> Wasn't there a story where you... I'm not like you. No, no, it was always a room. No, no that was your story with Hawthorne. <laughs> you ended up in the same bed. We're, we're not on me today yet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was always a room. But for a long time, every time we went somewhere, we could never afford more than two rooms. So you right. and Fred were always bunking together. I know. <laughs> I was. I want to bunk with you. <laughs> All right, so there it is. That's another story about fascinating chapter in Fred's life. He's a man from Mars, and he's extremely clever. <laughs> Brilliant, but kind in every endeavor. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> Gary and I look, look laugh at each other every time Jackie laughs. <laughs> Jackie's way too into he it. He enjoys Jackie, it too much. He just did three separate distinct laughs. No, you know what it is? The whole time you're talking to Fred, I have thought this whole thing was so hysterical, but I'm absolutely paranoid because one giggle from me could make the whole wind shift and make the whole thing come on me. So I'm just right. here like... Right, you got to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all I got to do is... It's like, wah. <laughs> Bye-bye, Fred. Hello, joke. Man. Jerk man. Jerk man. All right, very good. So there's a little insight into the... Uh, people love Fred and love yeah, to know exactly. what he's up to. You know what? We don't know any more about Fred than we do. <laughs> Can you imagine Fred, though, going without sex for two years and, like, having the you know the availability of all these women? Hormones that is really... Raging. When we were it at NBC, we, you could walk through the intern office there at night where they made all those telephone calls and it was all girls. And they all And they were all arguing about and who the thing is, the guy, more. I mean, I understand why I'm going crazy. I have women throwing themselves at me and I'm married. He was single. Yeah, and he refused to give his favors to any of them. Yeah. You know who his girlfriend was for a while? Who? The Vietnamese woman across the street in the deli. Yeah. They, he's afraid he used to go there like every night and get dinner and it was just like pretty cute Vietnamese girl. He would go and rap to her a lot at night. Oh, yeah? <laughs> really? See, I didn't know <laughs> that. <laughs> But I mean, they weren't a couple. Did he ever ask her out? No, no. He just they just would go talk to her all the time. Right. Hmm. Dating the enemy, huh? Sorry, man. Sorry, with the enemy. Sorry, I didn't go to Nam. Yeah, well, I did. I don't. I don't like that. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's take a break.